Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and today we have the San Remo Cube. So firstly, let's address the elephant in the room, the price. Now, for a HX machine or heat exchange machine, they are up there in price and almost at the territory of the like an Eagle One Prima or the Lama Zorco Linear Mini. I do think they've come out with a nice package and let's take a dive into it and look at it in detail, what the machine is, what the features are and how they compare to others in the similar price point just below and above. So diving into this machine, what is it? It's a heat exchange machine for starters and it's running a stainless steel boiler so that's better with your temperature stability than just say a brass or a copper. Now it's a smallish water reservoir at 1.8 litres but this being the Cube R or the rotary version it can be plumbed in so that may not be an issue if you're plumbing it in but if you are running it from the tank it can deplete quite quickly. The boiler is 1.9 litres and the E61 group it allows for mechanical pre-infusion. A difference that San Remo have done, which is super simple, yet I feel makes a difference, is the position of the lever on the E61. Traditionally, they're down low and you bring them up a little bit for pre-infusion and up to run your group head. What they've done is they've actually moved it up so it starts horizontal and you bring it up. And what that means is it gives you a lot more room for the cup clearance. So when you do have two cups there, it was always a bit clunky having that lever down low. So for a simple thing, I actually do think they've made the usability of the E61 group head a lot nicer. Before we make a coffee, let's just see the calibration of the machine. We're just going to use the Passato TPD to check the pump pressure and the temperature at the group head. Seeing what the pressure and temperature is. And it's just running below nine bars and I expect to see it up closer to 90 degrees. We found that running the machine at 120 degrees Celsius gave it around a 91 degree extraction temperature. Still talking about the group head, the machine comes with two porter filters, a single and a double, which is standard for machine of this price point. But they have included the IMS filter baskets, which is actually quite nice. Another little change and nice feature they've done is they've basically looked at the old Brazilian machines which has ceramic steam valves and they've built a ceramic steam valve which basically means you can just simply turn it right to purge or lock it left to run and compared to other machines where you've got a turn knob or you've got a little lever that you're constantly purging this does make it really easy and user friendly but in saying that a small negative is the arm isn't cool touch so the arm does get really hot for me personally, it doesn't really make a difference because I've grown up with machines that weren't cool touch. But in an era where most machines have gone to cool touch, that might be a little bit of a negative. Moving down from the arm and into the drip tray, a really cool thing is the size of the drip tray. Like big drip trays are really convenient. You don't have to pull them out and clean them as often. And when you do pull them out, it just slides out really easy. It's not a drip tray that you have to lift and pop over a bracket or anything like that. So if it is quite full, there's less chance of spillage. One thing they could have improved is on the way back in, having like a bit of a magnet or a system like that, this really connected and held it in a little bit better. But they're just like nitpicking details rather than really negatives. Behind the drip tray, if you've got the R, you've got a, the switch to allow it to go from the tank connection to a plumbed in connection and that's it sits behind here on the right. Now on the V or the vibrating pump that's not there but yeah it's a feature of the R. Whether it's a V or the R they come with the dual gauges and that allows you to see the pressure at the boiler and what the pump is doing. Once again at this price point quite standard yet yeah, nice to have. And you've got your lights here just for your power, your temperature and your water reservoir if it's running low. One cool thing, not so much about the machine, but about the connectivity, is that the machine's running a Wi-Fi connectivity. So not a Bluetooth, but a Wi-Fi, which means you can connect to your home network and you can log into the machine from anywhere, really, as long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection. So going through the app, you connect it to your home Wi-Fi, so you're able to, once you've programmed it in, turn on and off the machine. So you go into programming, hit programming, and turn on and off the programming, what days you want to program and what slots. You can put up to three slots 
per day or time to start and stop the machine. You can also go into the menu and look at data like how many coffees you've had today, this week, this month, or what the water tank status is saying. And it shows you the extraction time of your last extraction. You can also go in and just dial in the temperature of the boiler. That's the machine in a nutshell. So let's dive in and make an espresso with the cube. So we're gonna be using the San Remo grinder, which is called the All Ground. It's the latest in that range as well. And this grinder can do espresso, filter, and mocha, but let's just grind. So just weighing that in, we're running 18 grams and we're going to be running 36 out, so a standard two to one ratio, just distributing that coffee a little bit. And, and let's go. just how quiet it is. It really is a very, very silent machine. And the shot timer, it's really nice to know where in the shot you are. So the two cool little things that I like. So just running 60 mils in 30 seconds. So we're just gonna steam the milk now. Feels a little less powerful than some other machines at this price point, but still quite neat. There you have a little flat white. You know what? I didn't need that coffee today. So, the most important thing, how does it compare? And I do feel it sits in a bit of a spot, in, mainly because of price. So it sits a little bit higher than comparables from the say Rocket ECM Profitec. So you could get a Rocket Giotto R, Mozza Fiato R for a bit less in price. And it does sit under the price point of your top end machines like the Victoria Arduino Prima 1 or Lama Zocco Linea Mini, but they're dual boiler machines. I'm not gonna talk about exact price because it does vary market to market. In saying that, I feel San Remo have really put a beautiful machine together with a lot of positives. I mean, color's only a simple thing, but it does come in a lot of colors and I think it does look beautiful, super modern. And the steam valve being that ceramic, easy to use, right to purge, left to turn on. The E61 head moving that lever and just having it move up so you got the cup clearance, the big drip tray, the stainless boiler, the timer on the front panel that's not intrusive. There's a lot of little things that have been put really well together. So it's a really hard one to answer, but I do feel someone that loves design, a well-built machine, and wants a heating shaded rotary pump, San Rima is on the money. If it's a full coffee geek that wants a temperature, pressure profile, etc., you're probably going to be looking more at something from Decent, um, like the DE1 Pro or something along those lines. So I think it's got its sweet spot in the market, but obviously price may affect some people. If you've liked the content, found it informative, please hit that thumbs up button. Thumbs up and comments really do help us with YouTube. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you again.